Welcome back to Main Street Living. Now, guys, I'm not going to lie. Last week when we uh, looked at those hot air balloons and we were on your coast, uh, I was a little bit jealous. But I know that, Quincy, you mentioned something in the last segment about the Pacific Ocean. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yes, yeah. yes. And we're going to take you there. In fact, a lot of us are getting out and we want to play again. And it's been hard. And I know we've been tempting you with some of those bucket list experiences to add to your wish list. You mentioned the hot air balloon ride over Virginia. And this week it is hang gliding over the Pacific with Tory Pines Glider Port. You won't just be flying like birds. You'll be flying with them. Take a look. So I've never been gliding. I'm really excited. I've been um, parasailing, skydiving. I really love the thrill of it all and that freedom. So I am really excited, more so than nervous. The glider port has been in operation since the 1920s. The way that people started uh, flying out here was in a, a gliding plane. The sport became slowly more and more popular here until the beginning of World War II. So we have the lovely Cliffhanger Cafe, and it's uh, one of the best places to enjoy a nice sandwich, soup, or salad in San Diego, and of course, the best view in town. There is no appointments. It's actually a first-come, first-served basis. You are going to enroll for a tandem flight in the office, do about 10 minutes of paperwork or so, uh, head out to the field, meet your instructor. The instructor's gonna go through a, a briefing with you, uh, let you know what to expect. What we're trying to accomplish with hang gliders and paragliders is flying like the birds do. Total Raptor Experience is a avian education and conservation education uh, business. We bring people out here at this amazing soaring site where both people and birds can use the rising air currents to do what they want to do in the sky. Every time I take somebody for a tandem flight, I always get to relive that experience of you know, their first time being off the ground in a, in a paraglider. I've been wanting to paraglide for the longest time, and today's the day I did it. Everybody reacts a little bit differently to it, but you know, for the most part, it's it's excitement, fear, um, elation, and, and a realization that it's really just not that terrifying to be up there. It was incredible. I got to be honest with you. At the beginning, I was a wee bit nervous. You know, being a guy in awe, I wasn't going to show it. But my instructor helped me out so much, kept me calm, told me how things were going to happen. It was a win-win. We took off, it was like being a bird. I have paraglided all around the world, and this is the singularly best place to bring other people into this sport, show them what it's all about, and give them the experience of free flight um, in an absolutely beautiful environment with perfect wind conditions. It is truly one of a kind. I was completely blown away by all the sights and all the sensations of the smooth sailing. I didn't realize that we were going to get so close to the cliffs. That was something completely unexpected. I mean, if I put two of my legs together, I could probably reach the cliff. <laughs> um, it was really cool, and I mean, even going over the side of it. That was a view that I did not expect whatsoever. You let go, you sit there, you relax, it's calm. It was very cool, very, very cool. I would love to do it again. It was so exciting. The youngest person I've taken was my daughter at two years old, and the oldest that I've taken was uh, 94 years old. So any age, any um, you know, ability can come and enjoy free flight with us. Okay, that was super cool. And the Torrey Pines Glider Port is currently operating with COVID safety protocols in place. You can learn more at flytory.com. Guys, I gotta go. Th that's a bucket list <laughs> item for me. Yeah. I gotta go watch Cheryl. Yeah. Right. Did you wanna do it too? <laughs> You gotta do it too. 
Uh, we'll see, Cheryl. Didn't you? You already told us a story uh, about how you've crashed on one of these before. But, um, that, that was a different one. That was, was probably um, user error, and that was that was, was you flying, that, right? That, yeah, it was not tandem. It was me by myself. <laughs> it, it wasn't that high, and it was user error. Yeah, all I know still let the professionals do it. Yeah, yeah all take I know care of you there. Because <laughs> they were way too close to the rocks and uh, yeah. way too exhilarating for me outdoors, but. Up next, we bring it back indoors. It's time to clean out our refrigerators. Ooh. Stay right there. <laughs>